thing is a good little shovel. It's pretty cheap. On Amazon it is uh, 1086 with climb. So if I look back, I have the um, let's see, I have all the stuff on my computer back there, like there. So if you see me looking back, that'd be why. Basically, it's a good little shovel. Uh, it came with this little carrying pouch. It's kind of, it doesn't feel very sturdy, but it, it's worked. Uh, the total weight, here's the pouch a bit better, it's, it has a belt loop, and it's, like I said, it's pretty, it feels kind of, kind of flimsy and kind of chintzy, weak, weakish, it's very thin. Not sure what we I'm pretty sure it's just nylon though. Uh, anyways, the total weight is 1.3 pounds. Uh, I'm not going to convert into metric because I know how to do it, I'm just too lazy. Um, the way that you use it is you screw it in. It, it folds down into a 10 inch kit, and then the total length is 23 inches, 23 inches long. Uh, but so the way you use it is you screw in the handle, like that, then up here, which is kind of a nifty little thing, hope you can see that, this little bit here, you unscrew that some, it's a little, it's hard to do sometimes, you, you screw it out, then when it's kind of like this, you can just fold, let's go out a little bit more, you can just fold it up, and when you're here, you can you screw it back up and there's your shovel. Or you can just kind of, so here's your shovel. Or you can um, just unscrew it some and have the pick out. It's the same basic concept. Just screw it up. Or you can kind of have both of them out if you go like this. And Don't let's go the handle, which is one bad thing. Uh, I'll move the back some. Okay, so it's as you can see, it's a pretty decent shovel. It's really sturdy. Uh, it's a little wobbly. There's a little bit of wobble in the hand, in the uh, shovel itself. And the pick wobbles a little bit too. But you can probably just tighten that up some more. Yeah, now the wobble's pretty much gone. But I mean, it's kind of small. It gets the job done. Uh, I went backpacking a while ago and I dug a, dug the poop hole, <laughs> uh, with it, it works, digs pretty, with pretty good ease too because of the, uh, shovel part, uh, my brother sharpened it a little bit so it's a bit easier to cut through, but like, uh, it already came decently sharp on the early edge, so around here, it just added a little bit more sharpness, so it dug, digs even better. Uh, I might end up showing you guys outside and some demonstrations of it, but it's a very good, good shovel for the price. And uh, I mean, it's it's forged steel, and uh, it has a saw on it, which I don't see how this is a saw, but it is. I guess you'd have to sharpen it some. It's not that sharp now. I mean. You have a little line. I don't think you can even see that on camera. And it's gone now, but... <clears throat> but overall, I'd say it's a good shovel. Especially for the like, $10 price tag. And it, like I said, it folds down very nicely. And when you right here, you kind of just tighten up this little screw thing here. The only bad thing about this design is that sometimes the twisty bed in here will get caught on the pick and stuff, and so it'll kind of scratch it up. Which is, I mean, isn't that really big of a, that big of a problem, but... Eh, if you... If you want the finish to stay there for really long or something, it won't really... Wouldn't get it, I guess. <laughs> but, um... I'm gonna go show you guys some... Demonstration illustration after I put this thing away. But, I mean, like I said, it... It folds up very nicely, and... It'll just pop over. Goes to about this big round. Like I said, it's 1.3 pounds. So I mean, it's it's a little heavy, but it's it's good. It, it, I mean, you gotta remember it's steel, so it'll last a long time. Uh, let's, let's 
put it in, and it folds up. You know, this little thing that you can carry on the on the belt or on a pack like I did. I just kind of strapped it into a belt or something. I can't remember what I did, but kind of stuck it on there. And it stays in here. It's a, bit like, it's a little bit weighty, but <clears throat> it works. Then, uh, all that I can really say for right now, some people are complaining that it's too small. It, it's, not, it's not really that... I mean, no, you're not going to go dig a trench or something with it, but... I mean, if you like me, you just need to dig, like, a poop hole or something, or maybe use it as, like, a hand plow, which I guess you could you'd probably use it as one, actually, if you just didn't put the handle on. Or even if you did put the handle on, because it's kind of short. So, yeah, yeah. It fits pretty good there. Um, sorry if you can hear my, my dog is barking or something, uh, if that's in the background. Anyways, I'll go on and get to a demonstration outside. And if the lighting is bad outside, I'm sorry, I can't really do anything. It's a bit late. It's like 8 o'clock. Uh, it's a little bit darkish. I'm going to go outside now, and so I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. Johnny Dongle here. I'm outside now. I'm going to do a little demonstration. And if you hear cars, it's because I live really close to a road. But, basically, I'm just going to dig a little fire cut. i got to adjust the camera so I can... See where I, where I am. I'm gonna dig a little fire pit with this thing. So I gotta screw it up. Screw it up. Now I have this. And I need to unscrew this little tiny knob in the middle. Up there. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna screw back up after I got my shovel out. And then a dig. Oop, you can't even see that. I'll jump down some. Okay. There. You go. Okay now. Um can't do that. Uh, okay, look I, I don't have any cameraman right now. So I'm just kinda gotta push down a little. This is kinda weak uh dryish soil so it's pretty easy to dig through. But uh a good little shovel, and you can just kind of dig a little hole pretty easily. This would be good if you're doing a Dakota fire hole or something because it's very good, it's very uh, small, so you can just kind of make it whatever size you want. And I mean, you can just kind of, it's very, it's good, so the blade's kind of sharp, and it'll cut through this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do a pine tree right now, that's why all these there's all these pine needles and stuff and kind of stuff. But let's do this um dig around. And there you go. Got a good old fire pit. And you can use the saw part or something and kind of scrape away all the stuff around it. Just like that. Uh, it's, uh, it's good, good for doing that. And like if you uh, hit like some roots or something, you could use the pick. It just folds down into here. Uh, here I'm having to remember where the shot ends. It's up there. Okay. So, let's make a little demonstration. I'll cut back to you in a minute. Right on, he's back now. I got my dad as the cameraman for right now. Made this little fire pit with my Coleman camp shovel and pick. I recommend it because it's only about 10 bucks now. Uh, I think it's 1086 on with Amazon Prime. Free shipping and stuff because it's Amazon Prime. Uh, it's good in uh, sturdy. It's pretty easy to use, and it's uh, really effective for the for the price. Came with this little uh, case, which is. It's not the best, it's like really cheap nylon, really flimsy, but uh, I would definitely recommend this for somebody that's just starting off on a budget for a bug out bag or a hiking backpack, backpacking kind of trip. Uh, that's pretty much all I can think about right now. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Uh,
That's all, guys. Johnny Dongle, out.